Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Nassine. I have been doing keto for over a year and I've lost almost 90 pounds. This is usually the part where I tell you what I'm having for lunch, but this is the part where I'm getting ready in the morning. <laughs> It's about 4.45, I leave at 5, and I wanted to leave a little bit early today, so I'm completely ready. I just gotta get my shoes on and get going, get my paperwork. See you guys at lunch. Hey guys, I promised you I'd be back. I'm back, it's lunchtime. So I know I didn't speak to you much this morning, and I really won't have a lot of time to talk to you right now like I like to usually do. Um, but this is where I show you what I'm gonna have for lunch. I already told you what I had for breakfast, and guess what? I, don't, I can't remember if I mentioned it, but I am about to get a discount code for you guys for that Preferred Elements Key 2 Collagen Creamer that I use all the time, the chocolate and the vanilla. I reached out to them, they finally responded, they're gonna create a code for me. How awesome, because I use that thing every day. And I like to promote things that I genuinely like and enjoy. Anyways, I went to the store and I bought a salad because uh somebody drank half my keto chow you can't really tell and i guess it's not really half but somebody drank a good portion of my keto chow one of my children and it was open and it was crusty so i don't know how long it was open because i made this two days ago so i'm not chancing it like the lid's crusty whatever so i ran to the store and i got the little salad that I usually get when I go there. Bacon bits, one hard boiled egg, six little cherry tomatoes, and six slices of cucumber and about a serving of the cheddar cheese with some ranch. Um, I have so much that I want to catch up with you guys and talk to you guys about, but I don't really have time today, so that kind of stinks. It's good to be back to work. My throat still hurts. I still have a sore throat, but that's okay. Um, I, I did want to tell you really quick and it's so weird like one of my bras I couldn't find the bra that I I enjoy wearing you know we all have those comfortable bras and there's like two of them missing now and I don't know why so I just couldn't find one and so I reached in, in the drawer and I grabbed a bra that had been previously kind of tight around as Melanie over at Princess Ninja and Keto would say her um boob cage I think that's what she calls it um it was previously pretty tight around there and uncomfortable I put that on today and I had to put it on the tightest thing and it's still loose so the scale hasn't been moving for me but that's confirmation that things have been moving for me because that before then that was too tight and very uncomfortable and now the bra fits good so it's weird I'm losing weight in that area I always say that I need to measure and then I always forget to measure it's so important I really really need to do that I need to put it in my planner to help me remember or you guys need to harass me about it until I remember uh what else else just glad to be back at work back in the habit of things back in the swing that's the best way to get get into a routine helps you stay accountable I need to eat so I'll see you guys soon all right so this is what I'm gonna do I have this chicken I have one cup of mozzarella cheese I have a frying pan that just cooked cheese so don't mind it Okay, Let's throw that down. All right guys, I don't know what my inspiration for this meal was, but it looks really good, so I'm kind of excited. First, let's start here. So you've seen me put the one cup of the shredded mozzarella down into the pan, kind of like you would be making a skillet pizza. I melted that, I took it off, I set it aside. I then added into the frying pan uh, about 190 grams of my shredded up chicken. I cooked that down and then I added in 30 grams of spinach and I mixed that all in, cooked it up, and then I just layered it inside this cheese wrap and rolled it up. Then I took the remainder of the chicken, I added 30 more grams of spinach here, threw that chicken on top of this spinach, added an egg, and added 48 grams of ranch. So also gonna have it with a cherry vanilla Coke Zero. This is my dinner. Looks pretty good. So macros for today, I'm at 19 out of 20 net carbs. And you might say, why? You didn't really eat that many carbs today. Well, my friends, I was out of my, all, my, my ch mozzarella cheese that I buy in the blocks. So I had the shredded and it turns out one cup of that shredded cheese is eight carbs. How cool is that? Not very cool at all. Um, <laughs> But so I'm sitting at 12 carbs for dinner when it should only be four, but just because of the cheese that I chose to use, I guess. Um, 
here you can see for lunch I was at six net carbs and my breakfast was only one one carb and that's because I had probably about one cup of that milk anyways macros for today 19 out of 20 91 grams of fat 110 grams of protein and 1340 out of 1436 I'm not mad at today not mad at all so something that you're going to hear a little bit more from me in the coming days, weeks, months, I am actually doing the e-courses through the Countess of Low Carb. So I do have the links that are in the description box that you too can sign up for the e-courses. This is more for the busy mom, the busy wife, the busy single working lady that does not have time or man i'm not saying you have to be a woman it's just the majority of my followers are women <laughs> but anyways this is for the busy people the people who are getting back into keto the people who uh are struggling who need that extra kick that little extra motivation sometimes it's nice to be able to go back through all of your information and look at it all in one place instead of searching through hundreds of videos all over pinterest you know, just getting your information from everywhere because not everybody will give you the same information. One person will say, this is bad for you. Another person will say, this is good for you. It's for some people, they need that right smack in front of their face and they need to look, okay, today I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. They need, that is how they learn. This is all laid out for you. There is the, you can figure out your macros because everybody's macros are different. You're able to figure out your macros. You're able to start from day zero on how you're going to restart your keto diet. There's three different links in the description box. So one of the links is how to start keto easily that is what I recommend and what I'm actually doing the course I am doing the course so I, I mean I know how to do keto but I'm struggling I've been struggling let's face it since Thanksgiving and I'm getting back to keto basics I'm just starting at the root I am starting at the root and I am starting over I'm gathering my information I am going to do this I've lost almost 90 pounds on keto anybody can do keto however sometimes you get in a rut, you get in the habit of doing things, and I feel like for the type of learner that I am, I need to visually check it off my list. I need to check it off my list. I need to just have that backup, and that is what I'm doing. So I have these links in my description box. I'm not telling you that you have to go down there and click it. If you are new to keto, which I have a lot of people who are, I get a lot of questions, just take a look at them. Another good thing about this is that these these e-courses are more for the people who have a lot to lose, who are on a journey, and people will fall off on journeys and they get back on and they fall off. And, and when you have a lot to lose on a journey, it's, it's very helpful to have a supportive group behind you. So one of the awesome things that I love about Elizabeth is she's done it. Okay, she's been on this journey. She's still on this journey. She's done things wrong. She's done things right. She's sharing her experiences, what she's found has worked for her, what hasn't. And I know that I'm gonna get some comments of people saying like, all you have to do is just look up the information. It's not that hard. And that's true, you can. And I'm not telling you that you can't. I'm just saying for some people, it's easier to have all the information right then and there. I'm gonna continue to have my videos the same way that I always do, but I just wanted to share this information with you because I'm excited, I'm going to be doing it, and I think that it's it's good, it's good information. Um, there's not just the uh, learning how to do keto e-course, there's also the um, meal plan, and there is the keto reboot. So there's three different links down there. Take a gander if you want. Um, I need to figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner. So I have all these leftovers that I need to eat. I don't really wanna eat chicken salad again. I know that was a weird like segue into that. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm a little like, I just feel like I have so much information that I want to share with you guys today in such a limited amount of time because I haven't like vlogged in a week. So I'm kind of just like, oh my gosh, I just want to, I just want to sit down and talk with you guys. Maybe I should do a live again soon. Maybe I'll do a live tomorrow. I don't know. Anyways, I did miss you guys. I missed you guys a lot and I'm glad to be getting back to normal. Link is glad to be getting back to normal. Aren't you Puppuccino? Yeah. We're all glad to be getting back to normal. Um, weighed in at 226 this morning. I gotta get out of these 220s, you guys. I have to. Struggle bus. That's what I'm saying. I'm on the struggle bus. Now I am down because I was at 2.30 on uh, Sunday. So today I'm at 226. If I'm not down anymore tomorrow, I'm gonna lose my mind and rip all my hair out. <sighs> 
And I know I said earlier today, I need to start measuring. I need to, I need to, I need to. I have to because for this bra to be fitting me this way and even even these pants okay these pants are a 16 long these are the ones that i had just bought and they fit me so so comfortably like the other ones were not tight but they were a little tight these ones they feel almost loose i had to really tighten my belt so am i losing weight i feel like i am i'm just I'm losing it differently in different ways and different places um, and probably gaining muscle and I know these things but like I keep saying sometimes it's just you need that reminder you need that I, I'm one that will go over things that I already know over and over again just to embed it in my brain you know I will watch those keto restarts and keto reboots and just to get it in my brain to build it as a habit like I know a lot of you don't play video games but I've been playing World of Warcraft for many years and I've been playing the same character for many years and even playing that character I just over the weekend I looked up how to play the character I want to play it the best I want to be make sure that I'm doing it correctly it's like I don't know I just I look over it from time to time to refresh my memory to reboot myself and make sure I'm doing everything correctly I don't know if this is going to like oh Oh, I don't know if this is going to make sense for anybody because I'm just kind of babbling and I'm gonna probably get dislikes on this video I'll tell you that but that's because I'm everywhere today but that's just what my mind is my mind is everywhere today so it's just spewing out of me like a fountain right Linky Linky tell tell Sonny hi she loves you so much yeah I really do gotta put his face on a coffee mug, don't I? Or make maybe I'll make some little linky stickers. Something. I don't know. Alright, I'm hungry. <laughs> the next day. When it's time to go to work and the puppy Gino doesn't want you to go. You don't want mommy to go work. <laughs> I don't wanna go to work either. Hey guys, I still have my safety glasses on. Let me put my my battery is dying. Hey guys, so my battery is dying. Today is uh, Wednesday. It's been a pretty crazy morning. I'm going to try to tell you as much as I can before that battery dies. So at our 9 o'clock meeting, our department supervisor notified us that he was putting in his two weeks. And I was really sad because he's taught me a lot. And um, I think of him as more than just my supervisor. Like he's my friend. He's a fatherly figure. He's done a lot for me. And just really sucks so it's kind of a hard day um the second thing is i'm not having keto chow again today because i am still waiting on my order to come through i ordered a bag of the pumpkin since it was on sale and uh i just went and got another one of the same salads from yesterday so that's what i'm gonna be eating again all right guys it is so bad outside so much snow i didn't get home until 6 30. I usually get home at 5.30. This is what I'm having for dinner. This is a Dave's triple, no bun. I ate the lettuce and the pickle. And then the Caesar side salad with the Parmesan crisps and chicken and their Caesar dressing. That's dinner. So Enlightened Ice Cream reached out and said that they made a new bar in their keto line. So this bar that they made is sitting in front of me. It is uh, one net carb. It is the Caramel Dark Chocolate Peanut. And I'm going to tell you, it looks amazing. There's no added sugar in, in these. There's five different flavors that they have in their bar line. They sent me one of each of their bars. Now, it, I will link above. You've seen a video where I tried their um, the pints, which are amazing. They sent me all the flavors of their pints, and I am absolutely in love. I am hooked on Enlightened. It did arrive kind of beat up. It was packaged in dry ice, so there is a tear down on the box but I'm not concerned as long as the insides are together this keto caramel ice cream is rolled in crushed in peanuts and dipped in chocolate you can buy them online or you can find them in the store if you use a store locator I actually have a discount code for you guys if you guys are interested and you want to try enlightened you can use code keto mama to save seven dollars off of the keto collection the pints 
or you can use Keto Mama Bar and save $12 off any of the Keto Collection Variety Pack Plus. That's really cool. I think that they, for giving me a code that I can give you guys, I don't get anything out of it. That's just for you guys. That is for you guys to try. You can buy them online. Like I said, they came packaged really well in dry ice. The boxes are a little bit beat up. When I received the pints, those came fine. So like I said, this is the new flavor um they do have other products that are low in calories and dairy free this is the keto line here is another flavor that they sent me this is the peanut butter chocolate chip the marshmallow peanut butter Ooh, the mint chocolate chip and then just the dark chocolate so i'm going to try the new flavor here this is one net carb it is three grams of protein 21 grams of fat 230 calories there's four bars in a box it is 11 total carbs if you are a total carber three fiber less than a gram of sugar and seven grams of sugar alcohols so here we go let's open this bad boy up okay they're a lot bigger than what i thought i was expecting them to be a lot smaller i don't know why and just like on their pints it says here their little feel-good facts there are more trees on earth than stars in the milky way interesting i didn't know that here's what i was hoping wasn't the case being smashed it's not really smashed some it's down there this is not for you no this is not for you no 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 all right let's try it it's very, very frozen. Oh my God. This is the thing that I like so much about the Enlightened Keto Collection. To me, it doesn't taste like regular keto ice cream. It tastes like I'm eating regular ice cream. This is really good. It doesn't have that weird powdery aftertaste, the weird, I don't know. It just tastes like ice cream to me and it's really good. I like that it's only one net carb. That is such a key point for me. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing right now because I still have to eat dinner, but it's definitely gonna be my dessert. And I'll tell you this, I blew through those pints. Enlightened, if you watch this, hook me up because I can't get the stuff around me. I would really, really appreciate it if, you're, if, they, if they sold them everywhere because I can find regular Enlightened ice cream. I just can't find that keto line and I absolutely love the enlightened flavors they have more flavors i think than rebel i like rebel but rebel is a little on the powdery side this tastes just like regular ice cream to me so guys if you're interested try try these keto mama will save you seven dollars keto mama bar will save you 12. try it i'll try the other flavors later but i gotta go eat dinner